So in a video Varma did recently here, he asked a very important question. He asked, which part of us is truer? Which part of ourselves is a truer, more accurate picture of who we are? Is it the part of ourselves that is the higher mind, the ego, the part of us that controls ourselves with restraint and thought and reasoning? Or is it the part of us that is unrestrained, unleashed, if you will, like when you're drunk, or as he said, like a near-death experience? Is that the more truer us. And I wish to submit that neither is truer, nor can you separate them, at least not meaningfully, because the part of you that comes out when you're drunk is the same as the part of you that is in control. They're not different, really. One of them is just mitigating what is already there. And in that note, you could technically say that the unmitigated you is a truer you, because, well, it's unmitigated, it's unrestrained. And in the most technical of levels, you could say that the persona we wear around the public is a deceit, right? We control and mitigate our true selves in order to fit in, in order to be accepted and acknowledged. You might have the desire to punch somebody or to yell at somebody, something that could be offensive, but you don't because there's societal expectations and consequences. Is that truly you, though, the one who follows these rules if you don't want to? Well, it's a valid question. But I think that it is also you, as much as the you that doesn't want to follow them. You are following these rules and these expectations, right? So there's a part of you that does want to follow them. Oh, even if it is just because of consequences. Both parts are accurate and true in equal levels. They are both a representation of who you are and what you can be. Everyone can be a gas chamber attendant or a saint, depending on circumstance, and that applies in every way to people's lives. Both parts of you will come out at different times and for different reasons, and they are both equally valid. They are both accurate and they are both true. In fact, a good point to make here is for the people who aren't that different when they drink, or not different at all. I know for myself I get a little more laughing, you know, I giggle and talk more, but for the most part I don't really change what I'm doing or who I am. And I know quite a few other people who just, they become more animated perhaps, but other than that, they don't change who they are between drunk and sober. There doesn't even have to be that sort of dichotomy there, that juxtaposition between sober and drunk, or id and ego. You can be both, really, at the same time. Have a moderation between the two, except you have certain desires, live them within means, and control them to a point but reach a manageable level that functions at all times and keeps you happy. Not a level where you're constantly restrained and having to control yourself because of these urges or whatever, because you're embarrassed or whatever have you. It, there's a synthesis between these two halves that really, honestly, is the truest you. The, the merging of these two, the meeting between them, where you're not totally controlling every aspect of yourself, restraining it all, but you're not totally being free or utterly loose either. We are instinctual creatures aspiring to civilization. This is true. We are both of these things. We are the hunter-gatherer predator, and we are the civilized man at the same time. To say one is more truer than the other, or one is better than the other, is impossible. It's false. And honestly, to go back to the question here and just answer it right out, there is no truer. There is no better. There is no more accurate version of oneself. Each part is equally and the same weight valid. They are utterly the same. Essentially, the question becomes an attempt to split hairs, which is truer, right? But we all know, if you really think about it, there is no truer to ourselves unless deceit is involved. If you present a front to people that is totally a lie, well then, obviously the part of you that isn't a lie is more honest. It's more you. But we're disregarding that. If you are acting honest to yourself in both situations, drunk, high, sober, whatever have you, in a near-death situation, doesn't matter. If you're being honest to yourself, then that's you.